Hi there and welcome to my weekly robot update. This is where I do a roundup of what's going on in the robot news around the world, so stay tuned. Hi guys, I'm Philip English from Robofield.com and welcome to the Robot Weekly Update number 18. Today we're looking at food chopping. Where's my dinner? Oh, there it comes. Oh, 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 oh no. Oh. Microsoft Cloud Surfing. Whee! Swarm Army Robots. They don't know I'm here. Shh. Oh. Oh no. Oh. Robot Chef aimed at home kitchen. A London-based company has launched a prototype Robo Chef for the home. Molly Robotics has demonstrated its concept at this year's Hanover Mess, a big trade fair for industry technology held in Germany. The cooking machine learns by capturing the movements of a human in the action of preparing a meal. These movements are then turned into commands that drive a sophisticated pair of robot hands. Tim Anderson, the 2011 BBC MasterChef champion, is training the Robo Chef. At the Hanover Mess, he has got the machine making crab biscuits. It's the ultimate sales chef, Mr. Anderson told BBC News. You tell it to do something, whether it's a bit of prep or completing a dish from start to finish, and it will do it. And it will do it the same every single time. The product is still two years away from market. Molly wants to make the unit slightly more compact and give it a built-in refrigerator and dishwasher. The robot can then do everything from assembling and chopping up all the ingredients, doing the cooking on the hob or in the oven, and finishing up by cleaning the dirty pans. The goal is to produce a consumer version costing £10,000. It is likely to find a ready market in the urban apartments where space is at a premium. The vision is to support the product with thousands of app-like recipes. The motion capture capability will also allow owners to share their own recipes online. A key innovation is the hands. Produced by Shadow Robot Company, they use 20 motors, 24 joints and 129 sensors to mimic the movements of human hands. Shadow's Rich Walker believes his robot appendages will ultimately cope with some of the uncertainties of cooking, such as when beaten eggs decide to peak. Microsoft demos industrial robot linked to cloud mobile devices. Microsoft presented a vision of how industrial robots could work more closely with people by harnessing the Internet of Things, cloud networking and 3D sensing technologies, linked through Windows platforms. In a demonstration at Hanover Mess, an industrial fair in Germany this week, Microsoft and industrial robot maker KUKA Robotics showed an industrial robot arm that can stream movement data to Microsoft Azure cloud computing platforms for human staff overseeing production. The KUKA machine is a lightweight multi-joint arm known as the Intelligence Industrial Work Assistant. Its immediate task in the demo is to thread a small tube into the back of a dishwasher. The delicate nature of the operation requires human collaboration and risk damage in the appliance, Microsoft said in a release. In the scene presented by the company, if the robot encounters a problem, it can notify nearby technicians via Microsoft Band wearables or Windows tablets which can also be used to assess supply chain problems affecting the robot. The robot assistant can be linked to a Connect 3D motion sensor to identify technicians who arrive for troubleshooting work. A video about the collaboration shows a technician using a head-mounted display to run through a troubleshooting app while checking the robot. The demonstration aims to highlight how KUKA robotic assistants can jointly perform tasks with humans without needing a human controller, Microsoft said in his blog. The demonstration is the latest in industrial-wide efforts to make industrial robots work with human colleagues more easily. For instance, Rethink's Robotics Baxter, introduced in 2012 and Swire launched last month, are designed to be collaborative robots that are safe enough for people to work alongside instead of being isolated in cages. Google Robot Army and Military Drone Swarms UAVs may replace people in the theatre of war. 
If you thought that having helicopter drones flying around delivering packages was a scary concept, then you won't be happy to learn that the US military is seriously considering enlisting the help of tiny robot quadrocopter drones in warfare. The US Navy is now testing a cannon system that launches 30 small robot drones into the air in less than a minute. Drones are able to fly in formation for 90 minutes in order to complete missions and are designed to overwhelm an adversary. Google is also keen to get involved in swarm robotics. On the 14th of April, the US Patent and Trademark Office granted Google a patent that allows it to link together and control a large group of robots using the cloud, with the intent of having the robots work together to complete tasks. While we don't know what Google plans to do with its swarm patent, the US Navy test could be part of a rising trend. According to a new report by the Center of New American Security, the US military is seeking to transform and sustain American military technology dominance, even though the increased military spending is now buying less and less as the years go by. To that end, the US government is now looking towards unmanned aerial systems or vehicles, that's UASs and UAVs, with multiple nano drones flying in swarms in order to gather large amounts of intelligence quickly and effectively without putting humans at risk. The small drones are very cheap to purchase and the military will be able to cut costs as older warships and aircraft don't have to be upgraded as much more or put out to pastures as they become obsolete if the drones are there to handle the intelligent aspects. That's it guys for your weekly World Robot News. I'm your host, Philip English. If you like this weekly report and want to see more of the latest robot news, reviews and robot tutorials, then please hit the subscribe button to keep up to date. I put further information about the robots in the weekly update in the links below, as well as extra web links for your review. If you have a robot product that you would like to do a review for or tutorial for, then please ping me over a message in the comment section and I'll see what I can do. Thanks guys, looking forward to seeing you next time.